history was made earlier this week in Norwood. The Morrill Memorial Library and the town of Norwood have partnered with the Massachusetts Probate and Family Court System to offer virtual court access through the Access to Justice program. Norwood is the first community to offer such a system, and at the time of this broadcast, the only one out of the 351 communities in the Commonwealth. This is fairly new. Libraries in some parts of the country have struggled to sort of show their relevance in the modern era, and this is a great example of that. Libraries are often referred to as palaces of the people, uh, and there's a lot that you can do at a library, and this is just another example of the services that are available at a library. I actually think libraries are going to become more important in the future, not less important, especially as businesses like you think of a town hall become more of just an office building and courthouses become really just office buildings, and that those services can move to places where people can access them. You're going to see more and more of that happening at the library. I think any time that you can engage the citizenry and the community in activities that can be done virtually, particularly at a location such as library, it's a great opportunity for folks to, um, to do that. So I'm very proud of Nord for having uh, been part of this uh, program. Colleen Briarly, Register of Probate and Family Court, explains the services that will now be accessible at the library and the importance of having them. Such sensitive and necessary uh, litigation goes on there. It has to do with every aspect of a person's life from death and probate of estates to divorce, custody hearings, there's domestic violence cases in the court. DCF has a huge presence in our court. So with the pandemic, we needed to reach people. So through the Chief Justice of the Probate and Family Court, uh, John Casey, he created or he supported through the tech department the virtual registry and that has just really grown to the point where today we get over a hundred visitors to our virtual registry and it's not going away um, and so what we'll be able to do at the library here is that people that need a private space or don't have access to internet can come to a private room up on the third floor we have two designated rooms with computers privacy access to internet of course and they'll be able to get on the virtual registry and from there we have clerks I've designated clerks to run the virtual registry. Briarly, a Nord resident herself, is proud of her town for being the first in the state to provide this service. I represent the entire county but you know Norwood is my heart and so um, I went to St. Catherine School and then ninth grade at the South and uh, Norwood High class of 80. Um, both of my ch children graduated Norwood High and I have three kids at the Coakley Middle School right now involved in town sports so I'm just always so proud of my town. My uh, co-workers make fun of me because every I bring Norwood I guess into a lot of conversations you know well in Norwood we do this or whatever but it really it really is a fabulous community um, that I want to give back to and so I'm super proud. Library Director Clayton Cheever also sees the importance of making these services available to library patrons and community members and credits his staff for helping to make it a reality. I'd, I'd like doing services that are meaningful. I don't like doing services just to do them, uh, but when they have a potential to really make a difference in lives, I, I couldn't be happier to be involved oh, and I couldn't be more proud of the team that's making it happen. It's not me doing it, it's, it's a great number of people that have helped bring us to this spot. Uh, in this point of time and uh, it, it, it fills me with great pride to be leading a team effort like this to make this work. Cheever explains how you can access the court system from the library and assures privacy for those who need it. So much vocabulary, first of all, even just uh, uh, helping people understand if we're not dealing with the courts every day, what are, you know, who are we talking to? I always thought I'm talking to the clerk of the court. You know, well, here in, the, in family and probate you're talking to the registry of the court. And helping people understand that is key. So just understanding the language uh, so we can help people just with that basic navigation. Then there's the physical access. You can do that from home before. Now we have a, a safe space here in the library where you can use our Wi-Fi, you can use our, our computers, you can use our study rooms, you can have a private quiet place, you can use our printers if you don't have access printing and you need to print up some forms, let's say, to get somebody else to sign them or to actually physically deliver to the court. Um, so if you want to borrow a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do that and do it from another place that works better for you. If you need to do it at, at some hour or use the internet at a time when we're not open, we're open seven days a week, which is also an awesome resource. It's always great to see the town of Norwood working with local agencies to help the community. Friday